The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, I'm back in the saddle, uh, more or less, as they say in the trade. My voice is about 70% there. Doc said that's about as good as it's going to be for a while, but I haven't done any talking, actually, believe it or not, from my point of view, for about five or six days, so it's helped quite a bit. Uh, we have really strong markets. Folks, I posted the chart here of the Chinese market. And as you can see here, uh, it's been under a great deal of pressure for many, 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 many months and years, okay? Going back at least three years. And now the Chinese government said they would like to do something to help prop up the, uh, the stock market. Uh, folks, what do you think they've been doing over the last three and a half years? That's exactly what they've been doing. They've got major problems over there. What it means, I'm not sure, but we're going to pay close attention to it. So uh, you'll notice here that if you look at the newsletter, you'll see the Hang Seng is being under a great deal of pressure, as has the uh, Dow Jones. Well, excuse me, not the Dow Jones, but the Chinese markets. And, of course, the emerging markets, too, have been under a great deal of, uh, <laughs> oh, boy, boys and girls, I'll tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a funny story, okay? Many years ago, I promised myself that I would never buy a breakout again, ever, 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 okay? And guess what happened today, folks? Uh, I was looking at one, and I <laughs> I ended up buying this breakout at, at uh, 1952 in the uh, – hold on one second here. Let me get this up here so we can see it here together. And I, I've already I've already gave him my $5 once it got black, back below – uh, 48. I said, no, no, no. I said, that's enough. But we've been there all this time. We went up and we went up to 54, 1954. And then it stalled. And I said, oh, no, stalling is not what I wanted to see. So I tried to raise my stop as near as I tried. I tried to explain that in the video that I sent out that it was a dangerous situation. And I believe me, had a sleepless night about buying a breakout. And I know Mark Douglas was looking over my shoulder telling me, what are you doing? And I said, yeah, well, trying something new. And it turned out to be something borrowed and nothing blue. Anyway, that's what uh, that's what I did. And I, I'm not a, upset that I did it because it could have ran and gone to the moon, but it didn't do that. I'm just giving you a heads up of when I make mistakes, I want to tell you what's happening. Now, here's what's been going on in the stock market, folks. I want to get the Dow Jones up here. This is the Dow Jones. This does a pretty good a job of describing everything that's going on. We've already seen it in the uh, S&P and all the others, but let's take a quick look at this and you'll see what we're looking at here. Hopefully these charts are actually posting today, which is uh, very, just as soon as I say that, it worked. You'll notice here we had this beautiful 135 pattern here uh, on Friday and we had a really strong rally. We're getting ready to take out the highs that we made on Friday. So that tells us that's going to be right up at the 382 up here. So pay close attention to that. But we did complete the very large ABCD pattern up in here. And uh, we made most of that money on the downside, uh, gave a little bit of it back, but still acting uh, relatively good. So someone's asked a question about what do I do with gold here? Folks, I just have to wait now because it's broken out to the upside and is flat out reversed. So what am I, you know, I have no choice but to stay here and say, my goodness, you know, I think it's uh, it's already down nine dollars from its uh, from its all time high for heaven's sakes. You know, that's not act. That's not good action. And we're at we're at the 61 uh, percent retracement of the daily range. So going below uh, 1945 would be a uh, pretty, uh, pretty interesting move, I would think. So those are just a few of the things that I'm paying attention to here. Uh, this morning as I look at some of these markets that are moving and we're moving quite a bit we move a hundred points in the Dow like it's a uh, like it's a heartbeat you know and so you can't do anything about that that's pretty much how things uh, hold together so anyway let's just hold on here for just one second here I've got to place an order because I see an opportunity here where I might make a dollar and making a dollar is always fun so let's move on here and just give me one second and I'll be right with you so 
It'll be more than one second, but just hang in there, one second. A little bit more than one second, maybe two seconds, but I've got to get up here to do this, and we're going to just take that out, and there we go. Okay, so we're in good shape there. All we got to do now is to come up and see how these markets are very strong. The NASDAQ hasn't even come close to taking out the old highs today, but of course the others, as Steve said, just about everything is green on the board up here. So I think that's an important thing to uh, pay uh, pay close attention to also. So those are just a few of the things that we're paying attention to here today. And uh, I'm sure that uh, when I give the video tonight and I go over the uh, information that I had on the gold the best I could, I will tell them, you know, I had to, you know, break by that breakout because there was a chance that it could be a really big one. And it was a chance. It was those chance brothers, slim and none. And as you know, that's the way it is. Now, we don't have any guests today. Bob Miner was supposed to, but he didn't get in touch with me. But tomorrow we're going to have Stan Harley. On Wednesday, we're going to have Jeff Huge. And on uh, Thursday, uh, we're going to have uh, Mike Moore of More Analytics. And when we come up to Friday with a little bit of luck, we are going to have Joe DiNapoli, non-political Joe, will be our guest talking only about the markets. And that's all we'll be doing. So that's uh, what we're watching here as we're looking at some of these things here uh, unfold. Okay. Well, we just got gold and just broken through the 61% retracement, and uh, we're going to see uh, what's happening. I, I only have a $5, uh, what are we, $5 tolerance in the gold market, folks. So when it went below 15, uh, 49, I said, that, no, that's not, that's not acting right. It never should have done that if it was really bullish. It actually should have exploded 8 or $9 above 54, scaring the shorts to death, and they didn't scare the shorts. So that's it. I the, the chart didn't show. Hold on just a minute. Let me show the Dow Jones chart because this is really important because if we go back below this low that we're looking at here uh, today that we've seen here at uh, the one low that we had on Friday, you'll you'll notice here. Just let me get this up here so we'll get, be able to see it easily enough. They are being posted, but that makes my job just a tiny bit. Just as soon as I say something, just as soon as I say something. Hold on. Let's try it again. Okay, bear with me. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648, and we will move on to the next chart. Because this is a very important chart in the Dow, folks, because if it goes back below that, and if it goes back below that, that is not a very good sign. Ah, shucks. Ah, God bless America. And all the ships at sea, as they say in the trade. All right, let's move over here. And talk about the um, the German DAX because I work a lot with Tom Hugard, as you know, and it's got an absolute uh, gorgeous pattern here that uh, that worked out very nicely, as a matter of fact. And then, of course, it backed off and then went back above the high, but it had a very good profit objective. You can see the really nice three drive to a bottom pattern down here. Then you see the three drive to a top pattern right up in here. Then you had this really nice Gartley. The low was right at the 61% retracement. What it did was it backed off a little bit and then it went up and completed this last little leg up into this area right here. But that's what these patterns are for, folks. They are for price appreciation as long as the pattern is completing the way that it's supposed to be completing and you'll never guess what else i'm missing here is my clock is finally here hey let's take a break folks 877-927-6648 we'll be right back Rising inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders flock back to, gold. However, these irregular times also mean a regular gold market, which presents its own unique challenges. This brings up the question, what moves the gold market? This is a question I'll be answering in my next live webinar. On August 30th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a live free webinar for all those who subscribe to my newsletter, The Gold Report. The Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be yours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. 
Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment in gold. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart. Uh, are you telling me that the DAX chart didn't come through, Al? Please tell me what, that, it, that it posted because I showed that it did. Um, it did not. Oh, dear God in heaven, what am I going to do with these things? I, uh, I thought I had it fixed. You know. I, <laughs> All right, Larry, just relax and take it easy. It's just a little one-hour show that most people... Okay, there's the chart. I hope it posted now. You'll see that uh, there is the uh, 382 retracement off the low we made uh, about uh, three and a half weeks ago. And uh, it hit, hit it nicely. And what it's done now is it's gone up and made a sell Gartley that it completed today there in the German DAX. Now, we went through all the major FIB numbers in the S&P. We went through the 382. That was at uh, 44, excuse me, yeah, yeah, 44. Uh, 28, and we went through it at 44.39, and also at 44. Uh, we haven't hit the 44.54 yet, but it's probably getting close. Anyway, the, this market is getting a lot of buyers here on Monday, and uh, it's mainly because uh, the Chinese, from what they said on Bloomberg, is the Chinese market was supposed to be strong. But when I looked at the prices, they were down. But you know, they don't pay attention to what I'm looking at. Folks, I want to talk to you about something related, unrelated to the stock market. Well, it is related to the stock market a great deal, and it's also related to the gold market. Over this past uh, five or six trading days, there has been a meeting in uh, Africa of the BRIC countries. That is Brazil, Russia, India, and China. That is a large number of people, folks. You know, you stop and think of China and uh, India. You're looking at uh, half the planet, well, a third of the planet. And Russia's not that many. That's only about 100 million. But uh, the rest of these countries, what they've done is they've bonded together. And now they have enough votes to override anything that the U.S. wants to do in the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. What this is going to do, folks, it's going to break the dollar away from the petrodollars. And the dollar is getting ready to become a second-class citizen, in my opinion, and also the opinion of John Jameson. How much higher it gets from this level, I'm not sure. But I'm watching very, very closely the euro, 
the British pound, the Japanese yen, because those are the ones that will probably have really significant moves, especially the euro. If we get it above 108.75, it's a 108.30 or something right now. But uh, the dollar index has made a 78% retracement on the long-term charts up there at that uh, 104 level. Uh, it, it went above it by just a little bit on Friday. Right now, it's setting just a tiny bit below it. So it's very important to pay attention to that. This is as significant as what, from what John Jameson's told me, and I think he's a pretty smart dude. This is almost as significant as when Nixon took us off the gold standard in 72. And that was a big thing because that brought on inflation. And uh, you can see what happened, uh, you know, after that. So. Those are just a couple of things that have been on my mind uh, that I wanted to share with you because I, I don't use those in my trading, but actually I did because I thought that if that breakout would happen in gold, that that might be a real interesting one to, you know, to be a buyer for. But in fact, that is not what happened. And the gold, of course, has sold off and it's still selling off. It's down now, uh, down $10 from the high, believe it or not. So it's been, uh, been quite, uh, quite a movement uh, to the downside here with that so anyway that, that's what I I'm just giving you a heads up I mean it looked like a good breakout I I had trepidations about it that's why I didn't want to risk more than five dollars I told the folks you know keep your stop make sure that if it doesn't go right away put your stop really tight and that's probably what most people did it was quite apparent when it went when it went back above the old high which was at 1951.10 that was something was not right there was trouble in River City, and that's that's when I said, uh oh, I, and I almost pushed the short sale button, but at that point I said, well, maybe I better not do that, and so I didn't, and I wanted to wait and see, you know, what happened to it, uh, you know, since that time. So that's what we're on, that's what I'm watching here uh, so far uh, this morning on some of these things. But uh, soybeans have had a really big move for us. Uh, they went. Uh, all the way up above, uh, up to the 78% level up there at 14, uh, it's get almost 14.12, and got to 14, uh, 14.09 and a half, and so it's acting uh, really, really nicely. Uh, the euro's been good to us. Uh, bonds have been relatively good to us. We did have a small loss last week, uh, and of course the gold has been very good to us, for, with the exception of, uh, with the exception of today. But uh, folks. When, when you're looking at these stock markets, remember you're trading a market of stocks. And when you're trading the Dow Jones, you're only trading about 16 stocks. These are the ones that are triple digit, you know, and so they can move very, very quickly up and down. So that's uh, the main thing to remember. And you get stocks like uh, that are in the news almost all the time, like uh, said, Boeing Airlines, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan. You know, they're always in there uh, talking about just like with the with the uh, mega stocks. You know, we've had some big moves. We've already talked about that NVIDIA, that big ABCD that was up there. So we live in interesting times. And if you don't use a stop during these interesting times, you're going to be not not you're not going to be a happy camper. So just remind yourself that that's, that's what you want to be doing and try to keep your powder dry till you find something that really lines up nicely and take a shot at it. And that's, that's what I try to do. I had all kinds of uh, opportunities today to be a buyer of the, uh, the British pound and also the, uh, the euro. The British pound I actually just missed. The euro didn't do anything, so I stood aside on that one. And, of course, I, I was short coming in. I got stopped out of my shorts at uh, 44.30, and uh, I haven't checked the last price on it, but I think it's 44.43 or something like that, or 44.44 or 44.42. So that's still in the ballpark of uh, what we're looking at uh, uh, right now. Okay, now someone's asked a question about how do I determine how much I'm going to risk on a trade. Folks, I, I'm – these patterns are so doggone accurate. I mean, if you follow this long enough, you can see that they're extremely accurate. So you don't have to risk much past where the – if you've got a 61% retracement and right below that is the 78% retracement and that distance is, say, three or $400, then you put your stop below the 78% level. Now, if the distance between the 618 and the 78% level is $1,000 – you got to make two trades out of it. You got to take the trade at the 618, get stopped out of that, and then try it again at the 786. That's that's the way I handle it because I I don't know what where the market's going to go. I got a, you know, I think I have a rough idea today. My rough idea went out the window in gold. It went out the window in the stock market. 
And but uh, the rest of them, you know, did okay. But uh, those were two that just didn't work. I, I didn't want to get hurt, so I put a stop in and said goodbye. And so that's all I'm watching now. I know when it turns, you know, I'll be there ready to dance. But right now I'm just waiting to see, you know, what happens to some of these as they, you know, start to unfold. Now I've got another chart to show you here uh, when we get, ah, uh, brother, this is the, the, you talk about this FTSE. It's made up of all kinds of international stocks. There's actually no London stocks in this thing, but it's, it's actually traded quite heavily over there. And I wanted to bring it to your attention because I've had several requests to do so. And there you can see the nice ABCD patterns that were there. Look at this beautiful 135 pattern with lower tops. Those are the kind that I look for, folks. When I see those, those make my little, uh, what, the few hairs that I have on my left hair stand up. And so we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Rising inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders flock back to, gold. However, these irregular times also mean a regular gold market, which presents its own unique challenges. This brings up the question, what moves the gold market? This is a question I'll be answering in my next live webinar. On August 30th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a live free webinar for all those who subscribe to my newsletter, The Gold Report. The Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be yours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment in gold. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hopefully, uh, we have a caller coming in today. Boy, someone's hit the jackpot today. Don't have to buy a lottery ticket, you've got through to TFNN. And who is it be? It's Michael. Michael from Niagara Falls. How are you doing, my friend? What can I do? For hi, you? hi. Thanks for taking my call. Why don't you take a look at the, the chart for the triple Qs, NASDAQ 100. 
Uh, sure. We've got the jobs report coming in on Labor Day. And historically, the day before and the day after Labor Day weekend is historically strong. It's good. You know, and then next week we have IRA fund buying. If that, if that market sinks, it closes near its lows on Friday, would you stay short? Uh, I don't listen to those reports, and I don't go into the reports when they when they come out. I, afterwards, I might do something with it, but no, mm -hmm. I won't do anything if it closes near its lows or whatever. I wait till after that report is out because there's a lot of illiquidity that hits it at that time, and so I don't like to uh, stand in front of it. So that's right. uh, my main reasoning for uh, doing it. And I believe but Friday I've 4 lost... p.m. Friday 4 p.m. and the triple yes. is closed mm -hmm. on its lows. Would you stay short uh, over well, the long depends. weekend, given the there's geopolitical I, tensions in Eastern a, Europe? If I had a huge lead in it, like I'm talking maybe 100 points or more yeah. in the NASDAQ, then I would hold it. Okay. And I'd still have a stop in there. I mean, I'd probably okay. risk uh, 80 of the 100 points because, you know, okay. they go. you can see how crazy they get. So you just don't want to risk anything. That's the worst part is that, you know, if you got a big lead, you're, you do have some flexibility you know, with uh, with risk control, but you don't want to give too much of it back. You know, that's uh, right. That's the key. Okay. But I, All right. I don't know whether I don't. You know, and I, knew, neither one of us know where it's going to close on Friday, but we'll have a pretty good idea by the time we get there. <laughs> well, yeah, there's some geopolitical rumblings. You know, I mean, uh, we're looking at that's, the uh, anniversary date of the World War II invasion, and Putin has. You know, he's got, you know, he's got fantasies of you know restoring the Soviet Union. You know, he may want to launch an invasion. On the long weekend, there's always that possibility, my friend. Oh, anyway, I hope that's what you ask for, Mike, is answers your question. But it's all about risk control, my friend. That's really what I'm looking at. Okay. All righty. Thank you, Mike, from Niagara Falls. And Mike actually lives in Poland now, believe it or not. A beautiful place over there. I've loved going to Poland. I've been to Krakow and Warsaw. Beautiful, beautiful cities. Okay, I've covered that. Now let me let me get a couple other charts here to uh, show you what I'm looking at as far as from the futures point of view here. I want to give you a situation because the corn crop, folks, is pretty much made now. And so we are, I'll just give you a rough idea. This is December corn, and I've been looking at the long side of this for the last few hours, well, <laughs> last three or four days, because the crop is pretty much uh, completed here. Hold on one second. It, it's coming, just a second. It's coming. I hope it is coming anyway. Yeah, there it is. You can see I have these higher bottoms in here. Now, there, there's not a head and shoulders pattern in here, really, because you don't have any symmetry at all. But we've got a little bit of movement to the upside here. That's basically it. But the big move, of course, you know, was in the soybeans. The soybeans had the, the really nice move. It had the 382 pullback that we love so much. And I want to bring that up. That was one that uh, it was uh, we had. I don't think anybody missed that one because it was uh, it was lined up just about. Oh, golly gee, Red Rider. Why do these keep doing this to me? Hold on, folks. I'm trying to post these charts. And when I try to post them. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Well, you're going to take a look at this. You will not believe what you're looking at. Here is the chart here from Sunday. And, of course, we didn't know where it was going to open here Sunday night, but you'll see the high on Sunday night uh, came in. Oh, God bless America. I'm afraid uh, I have to – well, let me get this chart up here because let me try to do one other thing a little bit differently. Hold on just a second. This is – yeah, here it is. This might work. Uh, what do I know? Okay, I'll give you a reasoning behind this in a second. But here's uh, what we were looking at in soybeans. You'll see the 382 retracement that we bought it at right down here. That was the 382 of the whole move. That was a 135 pattern. Look at the target, folks. The target was from uh, 412. The high today was 410 and three quarters. So that pretty much completed that. So and it gapped up and still has not filled that gap yet. So. Uh, that did complete the pattern that we were looking at. That was one that was just uh, you got to you have to pay attention to those 382s because they line up like that. Gives you a really nice indication that there could be something that would be uh, really really neat to look at, and that's what we're paying attention to as we as we look at each of these charts uh, as we go through them. Now, uh, 
the, two of the questions that I had over the weekend, and I did get a bunch of questions well, since I've been gone, they're about risk control, folks. And, you know, the risk control, these patterns work about 60% of the time. Now stop, stop and think just a second what I just said. 60% of the time they work. Do you know any baseball player that, backs, that bats 600 or any golfer that, that shoots 59 on a 72-hole course? No. But they don't, you don't, we, the trouble is we don't know which ones are going to work and which ones aren't going to work. And that's the whole key to you know, what we're trying to do here. So that, that's the basis of everything that I do. When I try to put it, even on the gold trade today, in the video I said, if this thing doesn't go right away, tighten up your stop. And I, I think most people did that. That was uh, it, it stayed there for half an hour, for heaven's sakes. There was no new buying coming in, for heaven's sake. So that was another reason to tell you, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's that's basically what we're looking at. Hold on a second here. My beeper's going nuts, and I don't know what for. And that is for uh, oh, I see what's happening. Just a second here. Mr. Billy Ray Valentine has got to make a couple of bucks here. So bear with me here, just a second. And uh, we've got a, uh, hold on just a second, folks. I have to put an order in. I don't want to screw it up too bad. So just uh, give me a second here, and we'll see how it all works out here. And then I'm just going to move that over here. Uh, hold on. This is going to be real easy for me to do this one because this is a, a flat-out no-brainer, as they say in the trade. And if, I, if they get me on that one, they get me, and I'm not even going to be worried about that, okay? All right, so there's where we stand. Now i got to turn off the <laughs> got to turn off the limit minder, and then we're going to be okay. So I think that's what we'll be uh, watching here. Uh, hold on here. Yeah, okay. Uh, all righty. Oh, dear, dear, dear signore, dear signore. Man alive, I'm going to be waiting if I wanted to market the Okay, and then we cancel this order, like here. Okay, hold on a second. All righty. Okay, one second, folks. I had to put an, put an order in. What I did was I, I saw a... Uh, Nice little ABCD pattern here in the S&P. And I said, well, we're going to see how well this works. And then we're just going to wait and see how the rest of it works from this level right here from where we are uh, right now. And so what I did was I bought it at 37 and a half. And I put a stop at 37 and a half. And that's all I've done. So, And that all, all that was when AB, it was an ABCD pattern right down there. So I got my stop working now at 37 and a half. And so I'm just going to let it rip and see what happens. In fact, me being long today is probably a big surprise to some of you, but that's uh, that's neither here than here nor there. Okay, now we want to ask the other question about the risk the risk part about the patterns. We know that the patterns, every single pattern that we have has a positive expectation. Even the ones that are you know ABCs run about 60, 60 to 65 percent, okay, depending upon what the CD like You does. might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, people ask me, how many times do I trade during the day? Today has been a relatively active day. I think I've traded five times. Twice in the gold market, uh, once in the bond market, beautiful APCD up there, 120 and change. And then we also had a crude oil trade last night, uh, just spot on at the you know 382 retracement. And uh, that, that one worked out really well. Just go back and double check where it went to at 49. It went to 49.61, uh, folks, and then went up to dropped, uh, uh, went, went up 130 points, $1,300, and then came back and hit it again. So it's been, uh, it's been, been pretty active here, to, uh, taking a look at some of these things here. So it uh, looks like I'm going to be stopped out here at break even here in my S&P, but that's okay. That's a, that's a, that's an easy one to call. So that's I have my stop right where I bought it at 437.50, and it's at 439. And I'm you know I'm just scalping because I see a nice little pattern, and if the pattern works fine, if the pattern doesn't work, I move on to Dodge City and just forget about it. Because, and we've got a caller coming in. Are you kidding me? Shut the front door and raise the front. We got Mr. Z from Philly. What's up, buddy? Long time Larry, uh, good afternoon to you. Thank you, sir. How are you doing? We are uh, we are uh, very pleased. Your voice is on the mend. It's about eighty percent there. Uh, it, it comes and goes, but uh, I, you know it's been so long since I've been. I think it's been seven days since I've been on the show. It's my longest stretch of not being on the show in seventeen years. But uh, boy, I just I had no voice at all. I was whispering for five days up until Saturday I, morning. Uh, Saturday morning I, I was my can, first. Uh... Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. I can uh, I can only recommend uh, you cease your hooting and hollering down there on the ranch with the horses. Uh, no, I have. A, you know, my ranch is so big that the horses are. You know, they're three or four hundred acres away from where I am right now, as you know. <laughs> and of course, uh, this twelve thousand foot hacienda that I live in is uh, quite spacious, so I get an echo once in a while through that. And if you still believe that, I have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge waiting for you to buy. What's what do you see going well, on know, here, John? What do you think's going I know on? You're, in uh, I know you're still selling real estate up there at West Lake Village, California. Yeah, my house that originally bought for thirty-two thousand is one point nine million. Believe it or <laughs> there not, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Larry, it's uh, how uh, how uh, coincidental. Uh, I called uh, to ask you about crude oil, and uh, and there, as I'm listening, just before you picked uh, my call up, you mentioned your trade today with oil. But mm -hmm. um, would you kindly uh, share the daily chart that you might have? I'm particularly interested in your view as to which direction the next 4 or $5 move is coming. 
Uh, yes, if I knew that, John, I would certainly tell you. But let me get the chart up first. I think I can do that without any – well, I say I can do that without any trouble. But God only knows, and she doesn't trade. So hold on just a second here. I think it's uh, here somewhere. And here it is. I believe this is the one I'm looking at. This will be the one that gives you the best idea of where I think we've been and where we might be going. So let's get this chart up so John and everybody else can see it. Uh, we Last night, uh, we made a uh, uh, 382 retreat. Oh, God bless America. I'll tell you, Johnny, you know what? Uh, these markets are getting to the point where my frustration level is a little bit beyond 110%. And I'm about ready to say I think my radio career is coming to a rapid halt. So hold on. Let me get this up here. <laughs> okay, no, well, I, I no just can't worries, stand John. the frustration of the technical. John, let, let me tell you. God darn it. I just I don't know what else to do, Johnny. I'll try I'll try three times. Maybe that'll be the uh that'll be the uh I'm gonna try to get this fixed today and if I don't then I think it's time to take my little burrow. <laughs> ah, screw it. Anyway, there's a lot of support at seventy nine. If seventy nine doesn't hold, John I think we're going to go. We uh, we'll have Mike Moore on Thursday, and we've had a tremendous move in heating oil and in gasoline. Both broke out to the highs and then broke down again today below those highs. So the fact that crude oil was so far behind, and he said that's un that's not unusual, but boy, I found it unusual. He's going to be talking to us about that on Wednesday. So or excuse me, on Thursday. So that's one that I think that is really worth uh, you know worth paying you know really really close attention to. So. That's what I'm uh, hoping that we get to see eventually. But uh, right now, yeah, there's that, a lot uh, of support. It's a that, trading that, at 80 uh, right now. Strong rally on Fridays, particularly yes. with heating oil, also yes. known as diesel, uh, yes. was in part driven by a large refinery outage down there on the Gulf Coast. So, uh -huh. uh, you know, if you can't process crude on the margin, crude prices might be a touch weak. And if you okay. can't process crude, you don't have the products that you'd normally get, hence a little bit tighter supply on heating oil, you know, also known as diesel. So that would explain that uh, that very short-term, uh, unusually high volatility right. in those product markets. But, um, yeah, on that, oh uh, on the crude, Larry, I... Uh, uh, people I uh, I talk to in the den and they see what my trading is. I've been thinking if we ever get up and over eighty three and a half for a couple of consecutive closes, that eighty three and a half, which is, in the parlance I use, has been a roof uh -huh. uh, on price literally for the past ten months. That could become a new floor, but we mm -hmm. certainly haven't done that yet. So. Um, so the onus is certainly on the bulls, and uh, it would appear the until we get over that, the bears would be in control. If uh, you know, if we get up near eighty two, eighty three. Yeah, that that's true. It's got a, it, 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 the the fact that there's lagging behind so much on the heat oil and the gasoline makes something it, to my. But Mike really made a case for it. He said it's you know it's basically the heating oil and the gasoline run the stuff. So if it does that, then what I'm looking at is I'm just waiting to see if it can you know clear that level and then I'll be uh, then I'll be able to go in it. But uh, I'm looking at you know when it swings if it if it makes a dollar a barrel for me I'm fine. I leave the rest of the money for you guys you rich guys from Wisconsin. You know I know you're the guys <laughs> that play all the big money. You know. <laughs> Have you been? Yeah. How's your health been? You've been That's everything. Right, right. Everything. Uh, for, if, if you're uh, guessing. Uh, Fancy traders have an edge in the old. I've got, I've got a, uh, a bridge from London to sell you. There you go. You got it. Hey, listen, thanks for calling in, buddy. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, thanks a bunch. Good hey, to hey see John, you. John, see you back, John staying on here. What, what are, what's your feeling on the beans up in here? We're right up at the 78% level and uh, reached a main target up here at around 1410. Do you think it's got a chance for a correction? Uh, absolutely. No. Once we've come into these prior highs, you know me, I, I, you know, I've been long like you the past couple of weeks. Uh, -huh. uh you know, this is the area to take some profits, but be prepared to get back on board if, uh, if buyers drive price right past those prior highs. But, uh, yeah, that okay. you and I see the same thing. And, uh, and of course I've learned, 
much of what I've uh, I've done uh, from you. So uh, so I'm just seeing what you see. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. I love you. Take it easy. Call in once in a while. I like talking to you. Very good. Bye. Bye bye. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're uh, wrapping up the show. I posted the chart that Dow Jones showing you that beautiful 135 pattern that we hit on Friday. Uh, today we went up and we tried to take out Friday's high. We missed it by just a little bit, uh, just like we did in all the other indices. The NASDAQ has actually been the one that has been a little bit weaker than most today. But if we go below that low, that is a really nasty sign because we did make a 382 retracement here uh, in the Dow Jones up there at that 46,000, uh, 46,000, 30, uh, whatever that number is. I can't even remember. <laughs> I do the S&P more than anything is equivalent to the S&P at around 4460. But anyway, we will watch that as we as we walk through here and look at some of these things during the day. Remember, folks, these patterns work about 60 percent of the time. The other part of the time they don't work. That's why you've got to put a stop in. That's, uh, you know, the bottom line. Sometimes they work. 
Sometimes they don't work. So you've got to decide how much you're going to risk. It's usually never more than $500 with the exception of crude oil and in the S&P and in gold. Then you have to risk 1000 because that those are wild markets because they're worth about a quarter of a million. Well, crude oil isn't, but gold and uh, the S&P are worth over 200000 or close to 200000 You know, crude oil is only worth about 80000 but it still jumps around so much that you need about an 80 point to one full dollar per gallon uh, stop. So same thing if you're doing heating oil, three cents, gasoline, three cents, because it does jump and boy, it is active. But when you're right, and when you're right, you make a couple of bucks. And that's what we're trying to do here. We've had a good run here. There's more coming, lots of patterns, great volatility, a good time of the year. This is when the bottoms are made, you know, August, September, October. So when we get that bottom, it's going to be a doozy, so let's stay tuned, and maybe we'll get it. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Remember, folks, now, tomorrow's guest will be uh, Stan, uh, excuse me, Stan Harley. Wednesday will be Jeff Hughes. May God bless. 